The sulfur iodine cycle is a three-step thermochemical cycle used to produce hydrogen. The SI cycle consists of three chemical reactions whose net reactant is water and whose net products are hydrogen and oxygen. All other chemicals are recycled. The SI process requires an efficient source of heat. Process description. The three reactions that produce hydrogen are as follows. I2 plus SO2 plus 2 H2O2 high plus H2SO4 Bunsen reaction. The high is then separated by distillation a liquid, liquid gravitic separation. 2 H2SO4 2 SO2 plus 2 H2O plus O2 to water. SO2 and residual H2SO4 must be separated from the oxygen byproduct by condensation. 2 high I2 plus H2 iodine and any accompanying water or SO2 is separated by condensation, and the hydrogen product remains as a gas. Dot. Net reaction, 2H2O2 H2 plus O2 to the sulfur and iodine compounds are recovered and reused, hence the consideration of the process as a cycle. This SI process is a chemical heat engine. Heat enters the cycle in high temperature endothermic chemical reactions 2 and 3, and heat exits the cycle in the low temperature exothermic reaction 1. The difference between the heat entering and leaving the cycle exits the cycle in the form of the heat of combustion of the hydrogen produced. Advantages and disadvantages The characteristics of the SI process can be described as follows All fluid process, therefore well suited for continuous operation, high utilization of heat predicted, but very high temperatures required. Completely closed system without byproducts or effluents. Corrosive reagents used as intermediaries. Therefore, advanced materials needed for construction of process apparatus. Suitable for application with solar, nuclear and hybrid sources of heat. More developed than competitive thermochemical processes. Research. The SI cycle was invented at General Atomics in the 1970s. The Japan Atomic Energy Agency has conducted successful experiments with the SI cycle in the helium-cooled high-temperature test reactor, a reactor which reached first criticality in 1998. JAA have the aspiration of using further nuclear high-temperature generation IV reactors to produce industrial scale quantities of hydrogen. Plans have been made to test larger scale automated systems for hydrogen production. Under an international nuclear energy research initiative agreement, the French CEA, General Atomics and Saint-Dier National Laboratories are jointly developing the sulfur iodine process. Additional research is taking place at the Idaho National Laboratory in Canada, Korea and Italy. Material challenge. The SI cycle involves operations with corrosive chemicals at temperatures up to about 1000 degrees Celsius. The selection of materials with sufficient corrosion resistance under the process conditions is of key importance to the economic viability of this process. The materials suggested include the following classes, refractory metals, reactive metals, superalloys, ceramics, polymers, and coatings. Some materials suggested include tantalum alloys, niobium alloys, noble metals, high silicon steels, several nickel-based superalloys, malide, silicon carbide, glass, silicon nitride, and others. Recent research on scaled proto Prototyping suggests that new tantalum surface technologies may be a technically and economically feasible way to make larger scale installations. Hydrogen economy. The sulfur iodine cycle has been proposed as a way to supply hydrogen for a hydrogen based economy. It does not require hydrocarbons like current methods of steam reforming but requires heat from combustion, nuclear reactions, or solar heat concentrators. 